Order. Questions to the Prime Minister. In David Cameron's last day as British Prime Minister, a jovial atmosphere filled Parliament for his farewell. Mr Speaker, this morning I had meetings with ministerial colleagues and others. Other than one meeting this afternoon with Her Majesty the Queen, the diary for the rest of my day is remarkably light. <laughs> Cameron leaves Downing Street, making way for Theresa May to lead Britain out of the European Union. It's a monumental task that sits on huge economic uncertainty, and one that Cameron hopes can be done with minimal disruption. My advice to my successor, who is a brilliant negotiator, uh, uh, is that we should try to be as close to the European Union as we can be uh, for the benefits of trade, of cooperation and of security. The channel will not get any wider once we leave the European Union and that is the relationship we should seek. Outside, Londoners had mixed feelings about Cameron's tenure. I don't think it was that great at the end. I think people were probably a bit disappointed by his exit, but that's how it goes. I think he's done a fabulous job and we greatly miss him. I think he sent this whole place into chaos and I think now we might actually get some structure. After Cameron's resignation in the bitter divide over Brexit, May will be tasked with trying to unite both her party and now her country.